Le Monde est fou. One could think when hearing the impressive selling price of over 40,000 euros for a Citroën 2 CV. But the world is not so crazy, because not all auction results fell as exaggerated as originally hoped. On the contrary, the exhibition Ritter Mobile was a spectrum of the entire classic car scene, which was shown in three halls. In the meanwhile, many manufacturers used the Retro Mobile to present their new design concept and tightened the curve to the new vehicles. At Renault, several white Alpine models from different generations were to be admired, starting with the first Alpine A106 up to the latest Alpine model. Special attention was paid to the Renault design concept, which rounded off the evolutions of the brand on the stand. Distributed over the stand, several models from the history of Renault were to be seen. Starting with the Renault 5 from the turn of the century, over to the Renault 45 Tourer, and some design studies from the 80s and 90s. The Citroën brand, with its affiliate club, presented itself on around 1,200 square meters. A highlight at the stand was the Citroën Scarabée d'Or, the first truck crossing the Sahara for the very first time in 1925. As a joint venture project, this vehicle is to be brought back to life. Our project is to reconstruct this car uh, and to have uh, students making this the copy of this car and uh, the new car will be ready on January uh, 19, 2019 for the centenary of Citroën and this project is conducted by our association de Voitures des Arts. This uh, project gathers a technical high school located near Paris and also uh, gather uh, an engineering school which is the Arts et Métiers, and each school has a specific target. The engineering school has to reconstruct the Alps track system, and the technical uh, high school has to reconstruct the rest of the car. The very early TUP and the Citroën H were exhibited at the Citroën commercial vehicles. Porsche celebrated 40 years Porsche 928, and showed, among others, the Porsche 928-4, a four-seat shooting brake which was built as a prototype for Ferry Porsche. The wheelbase was extended by 25 cm. Another Porsche attracted attention. The Porsche 928, with which Philippe de la Porte traveled around 30,500 km around the world. Fiat had had some real rarities on the booth. Next to the Abbott record car with a Pininfarina body was the Abbott prototype for the Alfa Romeo Sagato, but also a Lancia drawn by Raymond Levy. A highlight of the special exhibitions was the dealer show of the Aston Martins. About 20 models from the British factory of David Brown were shown, including the Aston Martin DB5 from the James Bond feature Goldfinger. This vehicle, built for the movie, had a number of special features, such as a retractable bulletproof steel plate at the rear, the extendable wheel hubs, the machine gun behind the rear lights and the front. The visitors loved to take selfies in front of the famous Aston Martin. But also the other exhibits were quite interesting including the Bristol Arnold Aston Martin. the Aston Martin DBR1 or the Aston Martin DB4. Among the displayed cars was a Volvo P1000 1800 with an Aston Martin engine. 
these are the vehicles that make the Retromobile so worth seeing. Racing enthusiasts got their money worth at the exhibition of the Group B racing cars. Besides other rally sports cars, there was an Audi Ur Quattro, a Lancia O37, a Ford RS200 or the Austin Metro 6R4 to be admired. However, the Retromobile is also famous for the club presence and these are always bringing some very special highlights to the show every year. This year, for example, there were models of the French automobile brand Pignon, which existed from 1918 to 1931. Pignon mainly built sports vehicles. The logo showed a flying crane. A Pignon Type AL3, a Type 132C and a Type 50,000 sedan were on display at the French Classic Car Club stand. The Turf Turf Club showed cars from the beginning of the automobile, including several Bayard, like a Clément AC40 from 1905, an AC2 VB15 and an AC4R from 1904. Along with them, a very early Renault Type C course of 1900. In the atrium of Hall 1, the National Motor Museum from Great Britain also showed vehicles from the early era of the British automobile brand GN. Including the GN Thunderbox Special with a 4.3 litre V twin cylinder engine and the GN Grand Prix with a Jab 5.1 litre VH aircraft engine. This year the artists and their art around the automobile took up an incredible large space. Paintings of all kinds, sculptures, graphics, illustrations, everything the heart desires. <laughs> 